open networking is set to transform the telecoms architecture landscape. But what do network operators gain and risk by adopting an open approach? I'm talking today with Domenico Convertino, who is Vice President of Product Management at HPE Communication Technology Group, the recently formed organization that is part of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So, Domenico, what are the developments you're excited about that are transforming the telecoms industry? It's an exciting moment for, for the industry with uh, an highest degree of innovation uh, in. This is normal in this industry, but at the moment, there are a couple of things that are really, really exciting, according to us. One for sure is uh, connected to the disaggregation of the radio access that is opening up completely new opportunities and will fuel a lot of innovation over the coming uh, over the coming years and then for sure the ability to uh, automate uh, and orchestrate the operation is something that is keeping us busy and where we are focusing a lot of attention and what's different about hpe's approach to orchestration and automation and to what extent is hpe's solution open we are different because uh, we develop this type of automation uh, uh, solutions and automation capabilities uh, since day one uh, with the idea to be completely multi-vendor. So we, we don't have any, any dependency from, from, any, from any vendor. These are not vertical, are multi-domain, multi-vendor solutions that are working very well with the, with the future networks. Um, the, the things we are doing are interesting because we are trying to focus our attention on the, on the business processes, on the way the operation uh, organization of our customer is working, to try to automate as much as possible, helping them to replace what is today a manual work of engineers with the software and with the artificial intelligence. So how are you helping telcos to take advantage of the open approach without adding complexity and risk? So we are working a lot to reduce the risk, to mitigate the risk, and we are working through the concept of a blueprinting. The blueprinting for us is the ability to design, define, test, validate, and certify configurations that are spanning across HP infrastructure, HP network function, partner network function, etc. So everything is tested, validated, certified end to end in order to reduce the risk for the operator at the moment they roll out the full stack. And according to HPE, how big is the business potential of the edge? At HP, we believe in the edge and we believe in the edge because uh, we believe in the fact that data must be consumed as close as possible to where they are generated. And this is, uh, if you want, a common interest, even uh, with the, the telecommunication industry, because it's opening up uh, new opportunities thanks to the low latency capability of the new cellular networks. And can you tell me more about HPE's approach to Open RAN? We started working at RAN disaggregation a couple of years ago. And since the beginning, we focused a lot our attention on having the right infrastructure, the right compute in order to uh, have uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the disaggregated uh, radio access network functions running, uh, running properly. We just launched uh, this week the ProLiant DL110 that is uh, a gear uh, fully designed to answer the radio access requirements. We keep, uh, we keep investing even on enhancing the networking capabilities that are connected to radio access. And of course, the other area of focus for us is service management and orchestration, where we are bringing in our decades of leadership in OSS and orchestration. And why is building an ecosystem so relevant today? Ecosystem is a bit of a buzzy word these days and is relevant for the simple reason that the business relationship of an open world can, won't be anymore the same. We, we are going to have companies that were used to compete that are going to work end in end to produce value for the operators. And on the operator side, there is the need to manage the business relationship with the 
uh, with the vendors uh, on a completely different on a completely different level. It cannot be anymore a supplier management it has to be a relationship that is a lot focused on the business results that they want to achieve. And on this extent, uh, I think that telecommunication industry has to look carefully at what the hyperscaler typically did in the past because they have been able to create this type of uh, proper business landscape to be successful. Excellent. Well, Domenico, thanks for joining us today and sharing your views. Thank you.